Hey everyone, I just want to give you a quick little glimpse at my latest project. I'm working on a TDAC for the Apache. That's the uh, controller in the front seat that uh, the Copilot Gunner uses mainly for uh, the weapon systems. It's, it's a very unique controller. Uh, it's got a screen and it's got two grips on each side. Each grip has quite a few controls on there. Uh, so I stumbled across a design on, on Thingiverse of someone who had actually kind of started this. Uh, they had the majority of the grip, uh, the right side grip done. Um, and so I kind of took that and, and printed it out. They looked really good. The designs were solid. Uh, it's not exactly a one-to-one -one of the grip. There's uh, a few things that aren't exactly right, but I think it's close enough for uh, DCS to, you know, to be able to have that controller and, and um, you know, just really, really increase the immersion there sitting in the front seat of the Apache. Uh, so I'll show you what I got so far. I've got the uh, the right side grip printed out. I did make some adjustments. Uh, some of the buttons I wanted to use were a little different. Uh, the original designer, I believe his name is Hannibal, um, had all of the hats were the four-way 3D printed hat, uh, hats that, that someone else had put on Thingiverse already. And I wanted to do something a little bit easier to wire and, and build. So, um, and then also the the center one here is actually a mini stick, so that needs needed to be something besides just a four way hat. Uh, so kind of show you what I've got so far. Uh, everything is just really kind of test fitted together uh, right now. Uh, the other other thing that was missing was the trigger. So I did design a trigger in here. We've got a two stage uh, trigger here. I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, and then I'm using toggle switches uh, with these little caps on them to kind of simulate closer to what's in the actual uh, aircraft. That one's not going to fit on there. Uh, but anyway, so got a lot of lot of sanding and finish work trying to get this all smoothed out and filled. Uh, obviously, with 3D printing, that's uh, one of the challenges. And with something like a handheld grip, you know, you really want smooth surfaces and uh, that type of stuff. So that's the next step here is to to get the uh, get this thing sanded and and filled and painted and, and looking a little better. Uh, so here's the, the, the main control panel here with the with all the controls on it. Uh, so you can see here, I've got uh, got the mini stick in here, I've got some push buttons, and I'm using these uh, PCB mounted hats. Uh, they're four way plus a push. Um, again, I'm not super thrilled with the mounting here. They're obviously designed to be mounted on a PCB. Uh, I'm gonna use, for printing some little blocks after I get the wiring done. Uh, I'm just going to glue that in there. Uh, hopefully that'll hold it. And then for this guy here, we've got a kind of a similar little plug here that we'll glue on uh, after after the wiring's done. Uh, so here's kind of what I did for the mini stick. Ordered these off of uh, DigiKey. I'll put the uh, the parts list and links to that in the hat switch as well. But I kind of just made this little block uh, that the mini stick sits down in. And then that whole thing just screws uh, to the inside of the face plate there. So hopefully it'll work. Uh, the mini stick's pretty solid. Uh, the hats are are not yet until we get the um, until we get the the glue and the in the little brackets in there. So uh, three ways or two way switches here with the the little rocker. Uh, I'm not real grilled with the shape of this yet. I think the real one in the aircraft uh, tips up quite a bit more. Uh, probably we'll put a dab of glue on these, uh, the center post there to hold them in once we, we get that going. And then the hats obviously will be four way and a push. I don't know if the push is <clears throat> in the aircraft yet. Although we haven't really seen a lot of uh, the, the bindings in DCS. So I may make some adjustments to, to the wiring as far as that goes once we get it all, once we get access to the module and can Kind of see what's going on. So here is the uh, trigger mechanism. I want to show you guys that. Basically, I've got two. Uh, it is a two-stage trigger. Uh, so I've got two of these little uh, tack switches. I uh, kind of bent the pins over and then cut them off of, of one side. Um, and then what we do is we've got a spring here that activates the first stage, and then this little plunger activates the second stage. So. Works pretty well there. Uh, watching a video, I believe it was Casmo was saying that the the first stage in the trigger is really not used a whole lot. But again, I figure if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it right. If we can 
if you need it, it's there. If you don't need it, then you can always uh, just not bind it. And there's just a little cap here that will cover that whole mechanism, and then it will screw into the uh, unit, the hand grip there. So I may extend this trigger out a little bit. Uh, I'll kind of wait to do that after I get the thing shaped, but I think it, it probably needs to protrude just a little bit more. Yeah. So anyway, just uh, my 3D printed front panel for the Hornet. I uh, didn't document that the build very well on it and had a lot of people ask questions. So wanted to uh, get a little bit out in front of this one and document a little better. So this is part one of the video uh, video series. Hopefully I'll uh, do another one after I get the thing sanded and the fit all better. And then we'll do another one over the electronics and, and the final there. So. And we'll catch you next time.